Welcome to another one, perform better than 90% of men in bed. Three simple tricks. How are we gonna do that? I'm gonna give you three mindset hacks to completely change the way that you think about it. That will put you in the top 10% of men in the bedroom and that will give you the benefits that are associated with that. Before we go any further, if you're serious about your dating goals, be that casually dating multiple girls or finding your dream girl, this is the group that you need to join. It's our community, the Masculine Choice Blueprint community. And we do a weekly call every week. We do a, we have a Discord that will help you with guidance, accountability, and support. That's 24 seven. And I am in there as well. And the full course bundle. Yeah, that's basically a direct download of everything that's in my head from 15 years of teaching guys how to be successful in dating girls, how to create the dating life that they deserve and want and the one that they can be proud of. So if you want this, click the link down below and it'll take you to the page where you can join the community. Now, why should you listen to me? Here's a little collection from my life. This is a girl that I was recently seeing. She sent me this. This is some girls that I was seeing in Berlin. This is a girl from Los Angeles. This was in the Abbey, if you know, you know, if you're familiar with the clubs in West Hollywood. And this is in Vienna. And this is what I wanted the thumbnail to be. And if you watch closely here in her hair, there's a little bit of a hint of an awesome dildo that was a direct replica of my dick. I had my dick molded into a dildo. <laughs> and I just find this hilarious. Anyway, why should you listen to me? Look, I have been teaching dating for over 15 years at this point. That means that I am fairly proficient at creating a connection between me and a hot girl. And as a result of that, I have fucked over 300 girls. Now that's not an insane number, but that's enough to warrant me giving you advice, okay? Um, I have enough experience to know what I'm doing in the bedroom and know how to fuck a girl in a way that I that will, she will never forget about it, in a way that definitely puts me in the top 10% of guys. In fact, some girls have told me that I am the best they've ever had and that is a pretty difficult accomplishment because she might not tell you and she might not even tell herself, admit it to herself that you're the best she's ever had. Sex is encircled by a lot of politics and a lot of taboo shit and if you have amazing sex with a girl, then she starts having all these thoughts about what this means for our relationship, stuff like that, stuff like that. So having gotten the feedback that I am the best a lot of girls have ever had is a fairly legitimate piece of evidence. So let's get into it. Before we do, okay, here's the context. Here's what we're gonna talk about. First of all, why have, an, uh, why have amazing sex? Number two, what amazing sex is, how to recognize it. And number three, how to have it. That's like the, the how to instructions. That's the three mindset hacks. Before we go any further, a disclaimer, always get consent from a girl. If you see a girl pulling away or being uncomfortable with what you're doing, especially because what we're gonna talk about in this video is shit that is pretty far out there, okay? It's like pretty physical, pretty dominant. So when you see a girl not liking what you're doing to her or with her, stop, take a step, step back and reassess. That's how we play this. Good. Now, why have amazing sex? First of all, epic sex is a make or break factor for a, for a relationship. Physicality is the number one component of the relationship. It's the reason why, how we have kids or why we have kids. And um, I mean, like there are girls who have said, okay, wow, I kind of don't like him, but he's giving me top shelf dick. So it's hard for me to leave him. So if you want that security that girls, they're not gonna leave you, Epic sex, like top 10%, like elite level sex, is probably a good idea to you know pursue. Now, secondly, very few guys know how to have it. It's a very rare thing to know how to fuck a girl the right way, like to let masculinity express itself that way, okay? And number three, it's the only way worth having sex. If you start having sex in that way, you'll very fast, very quickly understand that you don't wanna have mellow, lukewarm, vanilla sex ever again. So, what is amazing sex? There's two types of sex for a man. And the first one is the sex where the objective is to come, to jizz. Uh, and the second one is the sex where there is no objective. There's just like being there, completely thoughtless, 
only to share and to be present. Okay, this is why amazing sex definitely has a spiritual component to it. Okay, so. Like I said before, there is a lot of interpersonal politics around sex and there's a lot of ego in relationships. That means that in a relationship, both parties are gonna try to, to be mad at each other or to be slightly uncomfortable or to be aggressive or to be, to suffer in a way or to have some kind of objective or to have some kind of manipulation. All of this is ego. This is ego. Like what ego does is it needs to confirm itself and it needs to, and I know this is like a little bit out there, but bear with me because it, it, it will make sense. Okay. What I'm trying to say is that there's a lot of mind chatter. There's a lot of blah, blah, blah in your head. There's a lot of voices that compel you to do things and compel you to say things. And in, in, in fact, when that happens, this compulsion makes us say things out in the open, like really actually just not have only voices in our heads, but also have voices out in the open. So like arguments and, uh, you know, like something to fucking say for no reason. Once you have that type of sex, you will notice that both parties have shut the fuck up and blissfully just lay there being present. So what great sex does is it has the ability and the effect to dissolve the ego. That's what makes great sex amazing. Okay, this is the level that you want to perform at. Sex that shuts her up, that shuts up her ego and yours equally. Okay, now how to have amazing sex. Number one, it's all about the frame. Okay. This, we're talking about elite level before performance here. This is something that's very, very tricky because it's a double-edged sword. You can only have that performance and that experience if you're not trying to perform counterintuitively. You're like, if you're going into this thinking, okay, I'm gonna give her the best sex of her life and she's gonna love me after this and like I'm doing this so that I can be cool or even even I'm doing this to show her or for her. If you're thinking like that, bro, it's not gonna happen. This is not how epic sex happens, okay? The right frame is that you just wanna be there and serve and like use your body as a vessel to like almost like download fucking cosmic energy and like project it into her. This is almost how it happens. So like you'll notice that once you're in that thoughtless zone, the egoless zone, and I'll give you the how to in a second as well. But once you're in the egoless zone, um, fucking, um, you almost witness your body move by itself. You're not doing it. You're just there to observe. You're just there to like be okay. And sex, even if it's a one night stand is an expression of love. By the way, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna say and talk about in the next slide is about dominance, about how to pin her head down and shit like that. So it might be counterintuitive how this is an expression of love. And because maybe you wouldn't want your head pinned down during sex, okay? But most girls fucking love it if it comes from the right place. And the way to understand this, the way to counterintuitively grasp this and embrace this like conundrum is to understand that you are there to respect her wish to be abused. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? The first thing I want you to do is to make her surrender. During seduction and like during physicality, you will see that like both, you know, both parties are gonna canoodle each other, <laughs> are gonna touch each other. She wants, she's gonna wanna touch you, she's gonna touch you in, in different places, you're gonna touch her as well, but once the rubber starts meeting the road, once you know that it's actually going towards sex now, it's time to let her surrender. And the way to do that is to deny her initiative. Like, so once she initiates, one, one, like the, every idea that she has to put her hand somewhere, to like lie somehow differently, you deny that. And you do that by stopping her, by just like taking her hand, putting it away exactly where you want it, taking her, her head, 
and putting it like taking her hair like just starting to arrange the environment the way that you see fit and this is part of dominance we're going to talk about this extensively in the next slide but this is how you do it you start denying her initiative and asserting yours okay understand that she can't participate now this is your, the, your turn to do your thing to her and this is your turn this is your moment to turn her on okay this is your turn to turn her on so how do we do that you can touch her in multiple spots obviously the course that i mentioned before goes into detail and all that stuff how to do that but I, like a key understanding is that you need to slow down slow down your movement slow down your speed and uh just like turn her on. How do you know that you're turning her on? Because the way that she reacts is disproportionate to what you do. So like you touch her a little bit somewhere and she's like, she's like she moves a lot because of that. Okay, she like, she has like a reaction to it. That's how you know she's beginning to be really turned on. And now to the nitty gritty, now to the real dominance. First of all, dominance doesn't start in the bedroom. If you're trying to like turn from like Dr. Jekyll into Mr. Hyde all of a sudden, and once you start fucking, You've already lost. This is not the way to do it. Okay, you, the, the, the dominance is not about like grabbing her hair and just yanking it and pulling it. This is force. This is this is power. This is force. We need power. Okay, <laughs> I completely messed this up. But I, you understand what I mean. So, dominance first of all is an awareness of what you want. So it's like understanding that all of it, like in a special moment, you understand that. Fuck the 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 pillow is not where i wanted her head is not where i wanted okay like and start arranging shit the way you see fit like i said before assertion of that will onto the world so understand because i said this before as well it's power it's not force so you're not being aggressive you're fully in control okay and it's time to use her body like a rag doll like just completely use her the way that you want. Just do whatever you want with her. That is what she wants. She wants you to fucking do whatever you want to her. Again, make sure she's always like feeling good about it, okay, and enjoying it. If she's not, take a step back, reassess. And two pointers here, give her commands, tell her what to do, like just issue that command. Just tell her what to do and restrict her movement. Just Pin her down, hold her hands, hold her feet, like fucking push her head down into the pillow. Okay, choke her, fucking slap her, just be mildly violent towards her. Okay, that's what girls want. That's what most girls fucking want. Like they want to be dominated and they want you to do fucking do it. So make sure that you do that. Make sure that you uh, consent that you have fun and that she's always you know happy with what you're doing. And uh, with that said. Brother, if you do exactly that in the bedroom, girls are gonna fucking love it. They're gonna love you. They're not gonna want you to ever go away. And in order for you to find the opportunity to do that, make sure that you join the community, like I said before. Uh, yeah, click the link down below. And with that said, uh, subscribe to the channel and like the video, and I will see you next time.